Hi, Pop Culture Pals. I'm back with another small haul from uh, of some TV and movie pop culture toys that I picked up at a thrift store. Learn a little bit about them, and maybe when you find something similar, it'll help you make your decisions when you go shopping. We're going to start with something that um, you probably never would pick up, and uh, this is this Sunbun Cozy Cozy that says respect your mother with the Sunbum logo on the back. Um, koozies are, if you don't know, they're little um, jackets for your cold drinks to both uh, keep the, help keep them colder and help keep your hands from getting wet. And this, the reason I picked this up is because of the Sunbum logo. This is a company that makes uh, sunscreen products, but they're little bum monkey guy is very collectible if you find anything with this logo on it they make um, action figures which are especially collectible keychains and other things you know so definitely pick it up this was literally like a dollar um, because I only have the one you know might get ten dollars for it I saw somebody sell a group of them of three from the same line for about 15 so again not a lot of money in it but um i couldn't pass up on sunbum because i know it's always uh, fun to have in the store the next and <laughs> there's going to be a theme here which i'm going to say right off the bat which is there's not a lot of money in what i picked up this week it's been kind of slim pickings but again i'm trying to concentrate on bringing items into the store that will um that you know that are good seo to get people to pay attention to what i've got and you know that didn't cost me that much. So this is a, a little odd item. I'm not really sure what these were originally designed for. It is a Lego silicon mold and it creates little Lego robot figures. You could use this to mold chocolate, um, ice cubes, I guess, gelatin, anything that'll set. Um, you can put in this mold and pop it out. Uh, it, it comes, they make them in a whole bunch of different designs. Um, I wish again, I had found more of them because a grouping would definitely sell better. But um, again, I wasn't gonna leave this behind. It was a fun little find for somebody who's a Lego fan. Cost me a dollar. Again, if I flip it for 10, I'd be, that, that'd be the max you're gonna get on a single one. And there are a lot of them listed. Um, this, um, this is actually, I'm gonna throw this in. Uh, this is actually not something I found this week. It's something I found a little bit ago, but wanted to show you guys. This is a Jaws wallet from Rock Rebel. It's all glittery inside. It is a little worn because actually I have been using it. It was in better condition when I got it, but throwing it into my purse has kind of worn it a little bit. Jaws, I just wanted to show you this because Jaws is a huge collectible brand. Um, you know, for a, a, a movie that was made a bit ago, the, the branding has, the merchandising has been used quite a bit lately. Um, so if you find anything with Jaws on it, it's a good chance that it's going to be worth something. It does come in wallets, keychains, um, there's all kinds of action figures now and model kits, lots of goodies. And some of them go for really good money. This wallet potentially was a $30 wallet originally when it first came out. There are none of them on eBay right now. There is a Jaws billfold from the same company that sells for about 15 you know, this one's not in the greatest condition, so, you know, I wouldn't get a lot of money for it if I resold it um, as is, but um, this one's in my private collection, so we're keeping that one. This is another example of something that's good to pick up uh, when you get a chance and you see him. I move him out of the way. So this is a Frisbee. It's an official Whammo Frisbee. It does have the trademark down here in the corner. Frisbee is a logo is a, um, what do I want to say, a trademark name. Um, flying discs, which is what this is, are not all Frisbees. Every company who makes it who is not wham -O is not actually making a Frisbee. Uh, in the back, you will find, you won't probably won't be able to see it on camera, but it does say wham -O on the back. Unfortunately, what it says is wham .com. And what that tells me is that this is not a particularly old flying disc because, you know, .com. However, I picked it up because I really like the art on it and um, the surfboard logo. Since we're here in California, we sell a lot of surf, uh, California lifestyle type items. But there are Whammo Frisbees. If you find vintage ones, they can sell for a pretty penny. And we once found a set of professional 
flying discs. Yes, they make professional ones, and those sold for uh, close to $100, because apparently they're quite expensive to buy and very collectible. So I wouldn't say pick up every Frisbee you find, but if it has nice art on it and it's in good condition, because a lot of times, you know, you'll find them, they'll be all dog chewed. And if it is an official whammo, um, then, and it's, you know, obviously again, inexpensive, I'm going to grab it. And what I'm going to do is hang on to this one until I collect up a few more, which I'm sure I will, probably in a short period of time, and make a lot of them. And they will sell in the $15, $20 range for three or four of them, depending again on how old they are. Next up, oh, this, so <laughs> this is part of that same theme, um, literally funny, uh, that was some, yeah, anyway, I'm having a hard time speaking today, sorry, I hope you guys bear with me on that. This is a 45, <laughs> for you guys who remember records, that is the theme from Dr. Kildare on one side and the theme from Ben Casey on the other. If you are not a baby boomer, you may not know, these were t very famous medical shows in the 60s, extremely popular. Dr. Kildare and Ben Casey, um, Richard Chamberlain and Vince Edwards were heartthrobs of the era and they really put medical shows on the map. It, it was sort of like the first time they'd taken it out of the soap opera and put it on primetime TV and people loved it. This is funny because it still has the tag from an antique mall so originally this was an antique mall and they were trying to get $7.50 for it. I would never have paid $7.50 for this. Um, we did pay $0.50 cents for it and it really was just a rescue. My husband collects vinyl um, and we do collect television items. So this was kind of a combination we couldn't leave behind. The packaging's not in bad condition. This side has Ginger owned this originally. Um, and she marked it so in case when her friends borrowed it, you know, it would come back to her. Um, but this side's pretty good, again, considering it is from the 60s. And it was just kind of a fun find. It has absolutely no resale value. There are some of them up right now. No, None of them are selling. This is a great example of an item that probably mm, 15, 20 years ago, ironically, when it wasn't as old, it would have been a better seller. But the people who have money now are the baby, not the baby boomers any longer, they're the millennials, and they don't remember these shows. They don't have any attachment to these shows. So that's why the value is so low. When I first started selling TV collectibles, this probably would have been a hot item. At the time, people still also would have had record players to play this on. Now so few people do, although they are certainly coming back in vogue. But it was a fun item, again, we had to pick up just to save. The last two pieces I want to show you today is this one. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm now feeling I probably should have left it behind, but I was in one of those moods where I just felt like we weren't finding anything in the store. And so when I saw him, I grabbed him or her. <laughs> I guess it's him. So this is part of the Pixar remix toys, which were really cute um, from Mattel. And what they are is a is the alien from Toy Story dressed in costumes from other Pixar movies. So in this case, he's dressed in Boo's costume, monster costume from Monsters, Inc. So it's kind of a costume in a costume in a costume. Um, it is adorable. It's got these funky, fun eyes on the top. It does still have its original tag. I think it was marked at $3. Um, I actually kind of was surprised that it was Mattel, that it wasn't Disney, because I think Disney does a similar set of remix toys. Uh, the trouble, now that I've got it home in the good light, is it's it's not in really great condition. Considering it's still got its tag, it's a shame. This little tooth up here is peeling. There seems to be, the, the colors are weird. I can't tell if it's dirty or or what. It does seem like, like there's a little spot there. And then this is odd on the back. Why this little piece has no color compared to the rest, um, I don't know. So if you found this in good shape, better shape than this is in, I believe, it does sell in the $15 range. It's a little bulky, but it's fairly light. It might, it should go as a first class, which would get you, you know, selling it, shipping it for under $4. So there'd be some value in it. Um, same story I'm going to keep saying, not a ton of value. It was just too cute, and I 
wanted to buy something, so he came home with me. But uh, in all honesty, the more I look at him, and since there are so many of them listed right now, he may go into storage or he may just get redonated at some point when I'm done with him because um, I do think he's not in the best condition. The final item I want to show you is something um, that probably will surprise you and probably something that you wouldn't normally pick up. It probably doesn't even look like a pop culture item, but it is. So um, this little horse, I, when I touched him in the store, what first uh, caught my eye was that he was very well made. The fabric is really soft and nice, and he actually has metal hooves, which is very unusual. Um, I did not notice when I bought him this um, Velcro seam underneath, but that's actually really important and made him even more valuable. Once I picked him up and realized he was quality, I saw this, which is the Madeline tag. Um, again, for those of you uh, in whatever age range you might be in that doesn't know, Madeline is a series of books about a little girl in France. I actually never read them, but I know they're extremely popular. They've been around for quite some time. Um, I want to say they've been around since the 60s, certainly the 70s, and very popular series of books. And the company makes a doll and all of her accessories and her play sets and different things that go with it. They're very collectible. I'm not really sure why. Um, they're not particularly, they're, they're pricey, new, but they're not crazy pricey. But they do seem to be hard to find. Um, and as a result, pieces like this can have quite a bit of value. Now, when this guy was new, he came with a saddle and a blanket and a bridle and all these pieces that are missing. With those pieces, this guy would sell, could sell for 30 to $60. I can't imagine what he must have been new or it's just the fact that he's, you know, uh, um, rare to find now because everybody who's listing him say it's rare. If you have him in package with everything, you could get well over $100 for him. And here's what he does, if I can get him activated here. He whinnies, and that's my favorite. He makes that really fun clip-clop sound and, the, and whinnies. So he works, uh, which is something I didn't know when I bought him. Uh, again, his hair needs some attention, but otherwise he's in good condition, especially since he's in working condition. The legs are also have a little bit of give to them so you can position them, which is also really unusual. Uh, so the lesson on this one is look for the tags. If you can find Madeline toys, let me show you the tag again. Um, and you recognize her, she's the little girl in the blue coat with the is it yellow hat. And um, if you find anything from her line, particularly if you find it in package, scoop it up, you will definitely be able to flip it. I have flipped many things, Madeline things in the past. As is working, but without the accessories, we're still probably looking at 15, 16. I think the last person sold it for um, about $16 plus shipping. So they did pretty good. And they had the same issue where the hair needed some attention the tail's not too bad. Um, horse collectibles in general are quite popular. Young girls still really enjoy ponies for their dolls. And this being a nice quality piece, even in this condition, you know, has some value. So we'll give him a little clean up, get some of these stray hairs off him and see if we can't fix his hair a little bit and make him look a little bit more presentable. But uh, like I said, we'll get him up and he should sell for 15 to $16. So that's what I have today. Um, I hope to be back in another couple of days. We've got a t-shirt haul as well, We're trying to get out more often and get our eBay store up and going again. We are Boris Basement. You'll find the link in the description. If you're interested in any of these pieces, then absolutely come on over and make me an offer. We have made an offer on almost everything and we're happy to negotiate with you, especially if you live closer to the California side where shipping is a, a little bit more reasonable for us. That's it for me this week. If you had a great thrift haul this week, if you found a favorite item or you know anything or just enjoy any of the items I've showed you, please do leave a comment below.